it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Anywho, I have a bunch of leftover uh, TLPs and I am, and some, um, just some Bloom Pour Mix paints that I wanted to do something with. I've mixed them, a lot of them I've mixed them up together. Some of them I know the names of, some of them are just a mishmash of everything. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna do a flip cup. I'm gonna try it on a tile first, but I'm going to put, this is my Amsterdam White um, and Aussie Flow Trawl. I'm gonna put that in the bottom. And I might do this on a bigger scale. And then I'm gonna see, it's kinda, this one I had to work with. I had to put a lot of joe, Jo jo wo jo wa in it jo wa in it to get it to the right consistency. So let's just put that in there. So whatever is on the bottom is going to come out last. So after that, I am going to put in. This is about four different kinds of um, interference colors. I'm going to drizzle that on top. This is a three ounce cup that is a six inch tile. I'm gonna put in some of this green, this lime green. This is uh, Liquitex lime green. Then I'm going to put in, this is blue eyes mixed with, um, what's the new one, Rave. Blue eyes and Rave. And then I'm gonna put in some of the lemon sorbet. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I did a foot cup like this before, but it was a little bit different. It was, I don't think I used uh, the Shelly recipe, um, the Shelly recipe paint, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna put in, this is the last of my pinwheel. I need a stick. Stick, please. Let me just, yeah. Can't waste this. I mean, that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna put a little Joa in there. Just to make it a little bit more liquidy. Since this is a flip cup, it's gotta be able to move. The paint has to be able to move. Oh, and there goes my stick. So, anyhow, let's just put all of that in here. And on top of that, we're gonna put some constellation. Ooh, that's a little thick. And then maybe just a little bit more of the green because the black is going on top. So I want something really bright. Okay, moment of truth. Here's my black. Now is this a thick one? It, it is, let me get the thinner one out. I've got two mixed up. One's thicker, one's thinner. One's for blooms, one's for, this is the thinner one. One's for blooms and one is for, um, that's a way too much paint. Have, yeah. Um, once again, <laughs> but let's see if it works. And here we go. Just gonna let that sit for a minute. Let the, all flow out. Experiments. I love experiments. Yeah, I did one it was so many, a couple years ago actually, when I first started. And it's up on my wall now and it turned out so cool. It, um, it looked like a Karen Durshan um, piece. And uh, I resined it and it looked so awesome. But I did it with like extreme sheen colors, like in turquoise and blue and yeah, I think it was uh, amethyst. All right, let's see what, what happens with this. 
Ooh. Holy cow. I might have to try this on a big canvas. I'm just gonna let it sit. It might just flow right off on all on its own. I don't have a whole lot of tilting to do. Let me torch some bubbles. Wow. <laughs> I like, I like a lot. It's a good way to use up your, uh, your colors too. My, they've been sitting around for way too long. Mm. Very pretty. All right, it's tilting time, as the boys would say. There's a lot of color underneath there too. I'm gonna go slow. I don't care if it rolls over itself because there's so much paint on here, I have to move it off. Holy cow, let me come this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this on a canvas. Maybe on one of those Dutch pours I've done recently. <laughs> Holy cow, it was awful. Um, I did get a lot of comments on my channel about what to use for a base. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really love it when you guys uh, comment um, I take all kinds of criticism, even mostly constructive would be cool. Um, not really mean criticism, that's not cool. <laughs> wow, see now there's a lot of paint on here. What do you think guys? I think I'm gonna do more. bring it back and those big fat cells over there are kind of bothering me so I'm going to of course they'll all end up being big and fat no matter where I stretch it very cool just got to make sure you've got enough paint off so that it doesn't crack happy with this. I'm going to do it on a canvas. Ooh. So that's a 6 by 6 tile. I have 12 by 12 tiles. I could put it on that. I find tiles are better than canvases when it comes to um, the blooms. Oh my goodness, look at all those cells coming up now. Wow. Wow. Very pebbly looking. Alright guys, I'm going to take you down for a close-up. Here's my cup. There's still lots in there. Very cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights out and take you down. All right, guys. Mm, 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 mm. It's kind of hard to see the shimmer. Well, because it's all shimmer. Almost all shimmer. So. I don't even mind the specks because they have colors in them. <laughs> if I, try, if I um, tilted them, they'd probably 
grow a little bit, but I kind of like it the way it is. Um, and this is what you can do with your leftover piggies. Alright, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to keep my camera level, and um, I'm going to try and do either a bigger tile or a bigger canvas. Okay, here's the big one. So we're going to put this Amsterdam white in the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit more. This is a five ounce cup. The other one was three ounces for a six by six. This is a five and a half, so I might have to fill it pretty full. Twelve, I'm not quite sure how many ounces I need for a 12. I usually go on to Olga Sobe's Smart Art. She's awesome. She's got this paint calculator, although I didn't do that before I started, so. And I don't have any more of, but I do have some of this. It's enchantment. I don't have any more of the tin wheel. This is enchantment. I can put that down. Ooh, pretty. See, I've got to get rid of these. I mean, because they've been sitting around too long. Um, little Joa in there. That other one is it's so pretty. I'll have to uh, put them all together. Oopsie. All right. So what do I want next? I'm going to put the yellow. Sorbet. I like blues and yellows together. I might have enough for one more six by six tile. And then put this blue, blue eyes. I still have others. <laughs> colors all of them mixed up I think there's shimmer comet um, velvet and this I'm not quite sure what it is I think it is one of the two paints and I might have put a little bit of color art something or other in there. Now what do I want to do next? Oh constellation because I'm not going to have enough for... Oh, I'm going to put this. Is this enchantment? And then I'm going to put the black on. Then I'm going to flip it. Black cell activator. There, that's a pretty full cup. Now, can we flip it? Ha! <laughs> Trying to clean up my uh, studio back here, so I want to get rid of some of these paints. But I don't want to throw them away. That would be criminal. Oh, guys, that one that I just did a while ago is so pretty. 
I ended up getting some 12 inch by 12 inch cork to put on the back of these. Um, I don't know if people could use them as, I don't know. I just thought the cork might be a good idea. And um, they're like half inch thick, so they're good quality. So I can start selling some of these too. I was gonna order some floating frames, but this is 12 by 12. And the floating frames are 12 by 12 on the outside. So on the inside, they're less, I think. I don't know, I'd have to get one and figure it out. All right, are we ready? Wow. Holy cow. I'm just gonna let it spread. Yep. Give it a few minutes, let it spread on its own. These bubbles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this for a few minutes. I might, I'm gonna have to put you on time lapse for a minute. Well, bigger's not always better, but this piece looks very masculine to me. I put a little bit too much black in, I think, but I'm not hating it. Um, I think this would be really good for a guy because um, it's got that deep, but it's got the blue too. And then this cool, um, the purple, the constellation and the enchantment. I love that. I'm not happy about those. They're kind of weird, but they're not horrible. So I'm going to keep it like this. And I might do another one to match the other and not put as much black. The other one though had oh, pinwheel in it. That was that pretty pink. So let me put this one aside and we'll start on, this will be like a set, I guess. Um, yeah, the purple all ended up over here. It's not bad though, I don't really, I don't hate it. Um, I say that now, and then in the morning, I'll wake up and I'll say I hate it. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes, I don't know what it is. And that goes the other way too. Sometimes I hate it the night before, which usually I'll scrape it. And then the next day it turns out, see now this line of white is coming up, which I really love. 
So I'm gonna give it one more torch. I think that's helping bring it out. Bring it up the right. I like that. Yeah, that's much better. Woohoo! Alright. I'll be back in a flash. Oh, I guess I can show you this one too. Hang on. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how these have developed. They really turned out pretty. It's really hard to see some of the shimmer. Um, it's there. Beautiful multicolored cells. And this is the big one. This one changed a lot. I just want to give you a shot up from up here. I'll bring you in. It's like it bloomed. It bloomed. Very pretty. All the cells came up. And not bad for leftover paint that I was could have thrown out, but Hopefully it dries well, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you don't waste your paint and make something pretty. Be safe and create. Like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Just you guys being here helps my channel out. Thank you. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bye.